Hi everyone, uh, welcome to C2 Further Calculus. Um, this has two parts, differentiation and integration. And uh, what we essentially do is look at uh, negative and rational powers of uh, x and, and see how we can integrate and differentiate those. So let's start with some uh, easy examples. So you've got y equals 1 over x. We're going to differentiate this. Uh, now with all of these, what we've got to do is put them into index form. And so we want to write down um, 1 over x as x minus 1. And then dy over dx is simply bring the power down, take 1 away from the power. And if we want to put that into back into fraction form, it would just be minus 1 over x squared. Similarly, with the second example, we've got x squared times x to the power half. When we're multiplying, we're adding the powers. So that becomes 2.5. I'm going to write that as a fraction. So it's 5 over 2. Therefore, dy over dx, bring the power down, so 5 over 2, take 1 away from the power, so 2.5 becomes 1.5, which can write as 3 over 2. And I'll just put a note there, this is uh, 5 over 2, take away 2 over 2, which is 1.2, uh, 1.5. Right, so, uh, and finally, uh, let's put this into index form. So you got uh, x to the power minus a half, okay, and then dy of dx, bring the power down, take 1 away from the power, so minus 0 0.5 take away 1 is minus 1.5, so I'll write that minus 3 over 2. If you write this in, uh, put this back into fraction form, it's uh, minus a half times 1 over x, uh, to the power of 3 over 2. That, now that half is really a uh, uh, a square root. So we can write that as uh, like that. And then it's all cubed. So that gives us minus 1 over 2 square root of x uh, all cubed. Or alternatively, we can write x cubed um, square root over 2. Okay, let's look at an example like this. Um, firstly, the first one, we need to put it in index form, so let's expand it out. So we've got y equals 3 square root of x minus 2x square root of x minus x squared square root of x. We then need to put them put this in index form. So you've got 3x power of half minus 2. Now this is 1 plus 0 0.5 so it's 1.5. Take away 2 plus 0 0.5 is 2.5. So I'm going to write down um, 5 uh, over 2. Now when we differentiate it uh, we've got 3 over 2, bring the power down, take 1 away from the power, minus 6 over 2, which is 3, and take 1 away from the power, so that becomes a half. Again, bring the power down, take for, which is um, 2.5, take away 1 away from the power, which is 1.5, so we'll put a half there. And we can tie this up. So, uh, again, if you want to put it back into um, fraction form, you don't have to, but uh, sometimes it's good to uh, know that you can. Then you've got times 3 uh, times x square root. That's a little error there. And um, take away 5x square root by 2. Um, right, you might... Uh, want to have a go, I think there's a small error, let's have a look. This uh, 5 over 2, this should be 3 over 2. Uh, in which case this is either x cubed square root or square root times x. Um, and that should be fine. Right, so um, you might want to pause the video and have a go at the second one. Uh, let's do the second one. That's the first one. Again, you want to separate these into terms, so you've got 3x 
over x to the power 5, take away x squared x to the power 5, if we put them in index form, we get 3x to the power 4 minus 1 over x cubed, which is 3x to the power minus 4 minus x minus 3. Now differentiate dy over dx gives us, uh, bring the power down, minus 12x minus 5 plus 3 x to the power minus 4. So when we're dealing with these sorts of uh, expressions we want to put them into uh, index form, separate them out, put them into index form, apply the differentiation rules where you bring the power down, take one away from the power and then if needed you can put it back into uh, fraction form again. Right, let's look at an example where we have um, y equals x minus square root of x and what we're going to do is find the gradient at this point x equals 4, y equals 2 and then the equation for tangent so the first thing we need to know is the gradient so uh, what dy of dx um, the x becomes a 1 take away, bring the power down take 1 away from the power okay so we end up with 1 minus uh, 1 over 2 square root of x. Now at x equals 4, if we substitute that in, dy over dx is 1 over 1, 2 square root of 4, which is 2, and so we end up with 1 minus quarter, which is 3 quarters. And so the gradient is 3 over 4. And, uh, and this is obviously the gradient of the tangent. And so the equation of the tangent, equation of the tangent can be given by the formula y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, and we can substitute uh, 4, x, uh, so y equals 2, um, and we know that from the coordinate that's given to us over here, and this gives us 3 over 4x minus x1 which is 4 and we can rearrange this to give us y equals 3 over 4x uh, minus 1 now given that uh, L equals x plus 100 over x the next part of the question wants us to find the minimum length of fencing required and so we can say dl over dx is 101 um, this remember is x plus 100 to x minus 1 so we bring the power down take 1 away from the power and um, we know this is a stationary point when the gradient is 0 if we then solve this we have x squared equals 100 and so x equals 10 a negative solution doesn't count because it's obviously fencing so when x equals 10 uh, the length here is 10 plus 100 over 10 which would give us 20 so that now this value is either a maximum or minimum to test whether it's a maximum or minimum we can take the second differential and see what happens. So if we differentiate that again, we'll get minus, uh, sorry, plus 200 x to the power minus 3. Um, and then if we put x equals 10 in there, um, it turns out that 200 over uh, 10 to the power 3 will give us a positive. So therefore, d squared l over dx squared will be greater than 0. So at x equals 10, uh, this will be greater than 0, therefore uh, it's a minimum point when x equals 10. So therefore um, the, the fencing that um, we get when x equals 10 and uh, l subsequently equals 20 is in fact um, a minimum point. So let's write that down, minimum, mini, 
Um, then it's all fencing required is 20 meters.